All right, this is an, a demonstration video on how to make your fence for a graffiti fence project. Uh, you're going to start off by getting 14 uh, sticks and you're going to line them up right next to each other. Now when you do this, there might be some sticks that are not uh, flat. And so uh, you could either try to bend them, like this one's not perfectly flat, so I can try to bend it a little bit, or you could just go grab a different one. That's your two options for that because there are a few that just aren't perfect. Okay, So I'm going to line up 12 here. I got 14, but I'm going to line up 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to take two uh, that are going to go across right here and then one over here. Make sure you overlap them going this way with your longer ones. So that's 14 sticks. And then you're also going to need uh, smaller ones, two smaller ones here. Okay, so you want to kind of have them overlapping a little bit and like this. Okay, so that's going to be the first part to get that all set up. Uh, the glue we're going to use is going to be a tacky glue. That's going to help you out um, so it doesn't move around a lot. So you're going to take a brush to apply it. So make sure these are straight on the bottom. You want to keep them straight. Sometimes I'll take that stick and I'll just kind of line them up. Uh, it is a sticky glue, but you're going to just go ahead and put that on here carefully. Putting the glue on evenly. Okay. After that, you're going to put it on here, press a little bit, making sure it's overlapping this one here and not running off the edge. Okay. Now what happens a lot is it likes to kind of come up a little bit depending on how your sticks are. So to help that out, just for the drying time, I like to put tape on top of it. Okay. This will come off later, uh, but this is important that you put a few pieces of tape just to hold it better while you give it some time to dry. Okay. So I'm going to continue working on the gluing here. Put some glue on the back. And on here, pressing it a little bit. Okay, put your glue on here. Nice even coat is the best. It's very important that this one goes this way and that the longer ones are overlapping there. That's what's going to hold it together better. Press that down and then I need to do this last piece here. All right, so need a few more pieces of tape uh, to hold it all together. And you should be able to, if you tape it good enough here, you should be able to paint it today on the front, okay? So if you are going to paint it, make sure you put enough piece of tape down here uh, so it doesn't move around and can hold it in place. So I kind of just want to cover it up on every little edge here since I am going to show you the painting part. Okay. All right, maybe one more up here. All right, press it down for a little bit. Make sure you're adding a little pressure. That'll help keep things nice and flat. I'm going to flip it over now. And actually what I might want to do, so nobody takes yours, uh, you might want to write your name on one of these sticks here on the back. Okay, because we want to know whose artwork it is. After that, you're going to flip it over, and then we could start adding color today just to kind of add that background um, color to your work. So I do have little colors, containers of acrylic paint. This will help seal the wood, so then we can actually draw it next time. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting on here. And there's a number of ways. You could add some water to it to kind of thin out your paints. Uh, I'm just going to see how thin my paints are uh, when I get started here. So if you want a solid look, uh, just go ahead right into your paints and just go right on top. If you want to have more of like a translucent or a see-through look, uh, then you can add a little water into it. Um, it, it really kind of depends up to you and what you want with your work and how you want to have that final or that background layer to look. Okay? So I would use a little bit larger brush. Uh, for this part and just get a nice thin layer uh, 
throughout the whole piece here, going back and forth. The water does make it a little bit nicer um, when it or for the for moving it around. So I would recommend just a little water at least to kind of loosen up the paints so you can get it in all little different directions. All right, looks like I got a nice thin layer. Uh, after that, this is going to go on the drying rack um, and then you'll be ready uh, for next time uh, for adding uh, your design on top of it or we possibly could do the base as well. All right guys, good luck with your work today.